Mum and Dad, if you're watching, if I die, I love you. Oh, I feel, I feel vulnerable. <laughs> oh, I want to get into bed with you, okay? That's I'm that one. What the f <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to my channel. So, today, I'm going to be taking you through how to make three different low-calorie bubble tea recipes. Then at the end of the video, we're going to be doing a blind taste test with my friends to see whether they could distinguish between the ones that I made and the ones that we got from the store. Just going through the ingredients, starting off, we have the base, extra strong tea bags, sucralose, so this is going to act as the sweetener, chocolate extract, so next up we have the vanilla one, ube extract, the taro extract, matcha green tea, and last but not least, the black sugar tapioca pearls. Now the one I've got here isn't actually that low in calories. 220 calories per 100 grams, but I've seen tapioca pearls that are much lower calories than this. So, what I recommend for the tea is 150 milliliters of water. We're this for six different people. We'll use six different tea bags and 900 milliliters of water. Exactly. We'll just leave that to brew for a few minutes. We're currently in an Airbnb, so we're limited on our utensils. So we're gonna to have to use saucepans to mix up all the ingredients. We're gonna be first making the classic bubble tea. As we're making it for six different people, we're gonna use 300 milliliters of tea. I'll put the exact measurements in the description. Next up, six scoops of sucralose. Not four scoops, we'll show you the exact measurements. So when I mean a scoop, I mean about this much. This stuff is super sweet. Six of these. Let's do it, three, let's four, four, six. So we're just gonna give that a little mix. Once I take off my shirt, cause I'm sweating right now, it's pretty intense. Next up, 30 drops of this chocolate flavored flavoring. A little mix as well. Next up, 12 drops of this vanilla liquid drop. And the second to last ingredient we have here, lactose free milk. Now, being Asian, you have your pros, but there's also really big cons. Oh! And like I said earlier, we're staying in an Airbnb, and I care about my Airbnb rating. So I don't want to take the hit, just cause my friends couldn't handle regular milk, and ended up destroying the poor owner's toilet. We're going to be using 600 milliliters of milk, and already this is looking like your classic milk tea. If you'd like to follow me, we'll come retrieve the final ingredient. Lastly, we have ice. Three ice cubes for every serving. And this is it for the classic milk tea. We're just gonna keep it in the fridge now for a few hours. So it's been a few hours now, and this is how it should look when you take it back out of the fridge. No, I'm just kidding. There's just one we got from the store. <laughs> Let's get on to the matcha. So per serving, I recommend half a teaspoon. So make sure you mix up everything really well. Otherwise, it'll be really easy to tell which one's where and which one's the stores because my friends will end up gagging if there's bits inside. Except from Callum, who has a non-existent gag reflex from all that. I'll put the sucrose in here. Yeah. Did you put the sucrose in? Are you sure? I'm not actually too sure now. No, I didn't. So next up we have sucralase. Next up vanilla extract that brings out the aroma. Two drops per serving. 600 milliliters of milk. Do you need some help with that? No. Nine. And last but not least, the taro one now. 300 milliliters of tea. Six sucralose scoops. Here is where the magic happens. For each serving, half a teaspoon. Now I'll be careful with this because it stains. Handle with caution. 18 vanilla drops now. One, two, three, four, seven, four, seven, four, seven, four, seven, Milk. Give that a little mix. One, two, three, four, seven, four, seven, four. Now, let's pretend to go pick up our competitor's bubble tea, even though you clearly saw it in my fridge. Let's go, guys. So we're currently going to pick up the bubble tea now that we're going to use as a comparison. So we're going to pick up three different types. We're going to pick up taro, we're going to pick up the normal original, and we're going to pick up the matcha. Come this way, guys. Let's have a look at the menu now. 
Any toppings? Top no, no toppings. I ain't gonna have toppings in mind, so I can't let them outdo me like that. Either. Have you ever had bubble tea, Jeffy? Ah, uh, like once or twice. I can't lie, I wasn't the biggest fan of bubble tea. It's a little overhyped. We'll, we'll see how good Ben's is. The traitor. So Jeffy is a perfect candidate for my test. Because he doesn't actually drink bubble tea, he won't have a biased opinion on it. If you have bubble tea often, you'll be able to tell straight away, I reckon. Oh, uh, yeah. And the last time, so it's the free drinks. Anything else? Oh, no, that's alright, thank you. It's going to be 15 pounds, I think. Give us a shower when it's ready. Cheers. We'll go outside. Yeah, so we've got one natural milk tea, we've got a single natural milk tea, and we've got a taro milk tea. I have quite a lot of confidence in my own, okay? I should really ask for the macros as well. It's exciting. Ask. Huh? Ask. But the nutrition values. It might be on the website, but currently the website is down. Oh, no worries if you don't, it's fine. What's the purpose of I'm making a, a low calorie bubble tea. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Have a good right. day. Yeah. Thank, yeah. You. Thank you. Yeah. You've got your work cut out for you, bro. Yeah. So, the last step, we're going to make the tapioca pearls now. For every one cup of tapioca balls, we're going to use 10 cups of. I was going to say 10 cups of rice then. Uh, 10 cups of water. Two and a half cups. We're until the tapioca balls float to the top, so they're floating now. So now we just need to put on the lid and we'll leave on medium heat for two to three minutes. So as you see here, they're done now. We're just gonna scoop them out and plate up. So we've got the final product here. We're just gonna plate up and we'll go test on our first victim. Balls. So there we have it. We're just gonna wake up our little baby boy, Jeffy, from his little nap now. Man had a bit of a rough night, so uh, he'll be delighted to wake up to some nice bubble tea. Since everything else is budget, we're just gonna use a face mask as a blindfold. Let's go. Wake you in, you sunshine. Do them, what are you doing? <laughs> you know how I was making bubble tea earlier? Of course. Well, before we do a little blind taste test now. You think this is the best <laughs> angle to get me straight away? <laughs> Keep the blindfold on. Oh, it's pretty heavy. You got your blindfold on, Jeffy? No. Oh, sit up, sit up, Jeffy. Sit up. Nah, bro, let's go downstairs. I feel, I feel vulnerable. <laughs> Don't get any ideas, man. Oh, I'm gonna get into bed with you, okay? Nah, bro, let's do this downstairs, bro. <laughs> I'm not doing this in bed with no clothes on. <laughs> Wait, Jeffy, put your blood on. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Hey, bro, it's not gonna make a difference. Oh, yeah, it's a fine look. taste test, isn't it? <laughs> what are your names? What are your age? What is your occupation? Nah, bro, I'm unemployed for that. <laughs> <laughs> let's go round up more of my friends. You have friends? Right, let's go assemble my squad. Guess how many are Asian? Here we have... <laughs> Bro, you forgot! You're trying to let people know that you've got friends. You don't even remember your friends. Oh, oh. How much do you guys drink bubble tea? I don't drink any bubble tea. I don't drink any bubble tea either. Right, so here we have Ken over here. We've got Callum and we have Melanie. <laughs> the first one we're gonna test, classic milk tea. Sean, this is A. The one oh, glass. Okay. So that's good. How am I gonna get the bow in? Classic, yeah. Is it near my mouth? Are we allowed to drink it? Okay. How do you not know um, how to drink? You know I've got where a face mouth. mask over my eyes, yeah. man. <laughs> Tastes like caramel. You oh, can still know where your mouth is, bro. You've got 24 years of practice. It's like caramel, isn't it? Not caramel, caramel. 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 Ooh. Yes. The slope is real. I'm glad I'm sharing a glass. It smells like Bailey's. <laughs> I know. It's quite sweet this one, but it's nice over here. It's really nice. I quite like this. Can I have a little bit more? Wait, do I get any? This thing's so sweet, man. It's not bad, man. It's actually quite nice. Oh, right, the, af the aftertaste is quite nice as well. Oh, it, it, it's pretty good. Oh, what, what would you rate out of 10? Probably about it's five. Yeah. Unless it's it's how about that Ben made? It doesn't have eight or nine. That doesn't mean I'm a number B. What number B? This can taste a lot more tea. The tea flavour in this one is a lot more strong. Not that sweet. What if like Ben tampered with like the ones you <laughs> Stronger tea flavour, way less sweet. Yeah. I can yeah. feel I can feel the, the pearls tea. in it, yeah. That tastes good, yeah? Mm. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that one's happy yeah, about that. Good. I prefer that one. <laughs> <laughs> so which ones do you prefer? Option A or option B boys? Option A is definitely nicer, but feels way more unhealthy. Ah, <laughs> uh, quite a sweet too, so option A. Taro? <laughs> <laughs> a lot sweeter. This one's too sweet. It's like similar to the first Let's one. Let's get I the had. taro, but very sweet, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yo, yeah, this is so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like I'm getting yeah, close to diabetes. Let me have a taste of some wine first. Have right. you not tasted this just yourself first? <laughs> Bro, what kind of cook <laughs> doesn't <laughs> taste it as <laughs> they're making it? Mom and Dad, if you're watching, if I die, I love you. You won't die, bro. You'll just get the s*** from Ben's So this is option B. Oh, it's tough one. I like, I like this one a lot. It's more creamier though. Yeah, it's a bit thicker. It? Yeah. The balls are better in this one. How does option A compare to option B? It's not bad, man. It's nice. They're similar, but option A is just sweeter again. A was watery as well. Yeah. Bro, I'm also so hungover and dehydrated. B is yeah, this is, this is like thicker. creamy thick. Which, which one do you prefer? Uh, B, yeah. But not yeah. by a lot. The Reserve. thing is, I would prefer to drink A than B because it's sweeter. This is the last one, match up. If the taro one was like less sweet, then that would be perfect. What flavour is this? Yeah, I don't really like matcha in general. It's not very good and it's sweet. <laughs> they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. It's all right. Do you know what it tastes like? Sugar. <laughs> you know, you know those black hole tongue, those white rabbit sticks. So this is option B for matcha. Oh, I can't wait. Alex, <laughs> my boy, sugar. <laughs> oh. Wait, this. Oh yeah, oh you can God. taste the matcha, but, but yeah. it's watery as well. <laughs> <laughs> this is so bitter. <laughs> nah, bro, this is. A so at this point, we had no idea which match was mine or which match was Josie's for the test for Sean and Jeffy because the drinks literally looks identical. However, from the video, we can see that they clearly didn't like one of them. Now, logic would dictate that it would be my one that they didn't like. However, keep on watching. No, option three, I'm pretty glad you guys chose the stores, but I'll need to confirm by drinking my own now. I know for a fact it's the stores. <laughs> If they're allowed to serve your one in the store. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, I don't think Matcha would even be on the menu. My matcha's not bitter at all. Don't lie, bro. Don't lie. Oh, this is a nice one. You're telling us how the matcha was my one. I think what happened was you didn't mix the bottom. Ah. Uh, okay. let's, let's mix it and try it. Okay. Let's, uh, it let's just be honest and truthful. Yeah. So it wasn't quite a fair test. There's, there's a disparity in the colors. We're gonna give this a quick stir and then we're gonna do that taste test again. The store one tasted way, way better this time. Yeah, yeah. I would say the store one is more matcha. I reckon yeah. that uh, yeah. if you diluted your ones a bit more, they would taste like bomb. Yeah, probably. You can take off your mask, you know? <laughs> And a massive shout out for Joe's T for letting us film in there. If you're ever in Bristol, go check them out. They're located on Park Road, just off Park Street. Super nice drinks, super friendly staff, and just all around good vibes. Uh, thank you very much, guys, for being my video. Let's go on. <laughs> I hope it's you so enjoyed the video. <laughs> like, subscribe, get uh, this guy to 1K subs. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. Peace.